You guys, I was talking the whole time and that was not recording. Now I have to check how long was I talking and not recording. Oh my gosh, really? Influencer, YouTuber, fail. Is this thing on? Testing? <laughs> All right guys, we're doing this. Quarantine Diaries Confessional. The Influencer Project, the making of this channel. We had made a commitment, if you will, when we first started this whole journey. And I was listening to the first episode of our Pop Candy podcast, where we talked about the Influencer Project and the fact that we were going to document the entire journey trying to make the podcast, us trying to make the channel, launching our YouTube channels, us trying to become influencers. That is the point of the Influencer Project. And we've been doing a really good job documenting everything on our Pop Candy podcast every Wednesday. But one thing we haven't been doing is documenting the struggle of trying to make the YouTube channel on YouTube. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, I just got off the phone with her and I told her that today we should just pick up our camera, talk straight to camera, be really open and honest about what's been going on, go through some of the struggles. And all I was meaning to do was pick up this camera right here. I don't even have any makeup or hardly anything. I just have lashes on from last night. These are last night's lashes. <laughs> and I was just supposed to be telling you guys about my conversation with Crystal, but I'm already kind of going into the video. So I guess the video has started. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we are going to be documenting just how really tough it's been to do this. And so that's what we're going to do today. Before we do that, I'm looking a little rough right now because <laughs> I literally have not put anything on my face. So do you guys want to just get ready with me so you can see how I get ready for camera? Maybe let's wash my face, put on a little makeup, and then we can jump back and continue this conversation. So come on with me on this make my face look a little better journey. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Do you like that little hand transition there? <laughs> I was trying to be cool like the YouTubers do it. Okay, so we're clearly in. Our, my bathroom now and the first thing I'm trying to do is I want to shoot me trying to wash my face getting ready but as you can see there isn't really anywhere to be able to put the camera let's go find a stand for um, this camera like my tripod so I have everything here this is my little box of stuff so we're gonna use this to basically stand you guys up and this is what I'm gonna use to basically show you guys how I wash my face so all right let me set this up and uh, put this thing like this and then yeah then I'll wash my face and you guys can see what I do a little behind the scenes of the making of a YouTube video <laughs> all right no my boob is not what you guys want to see okay everything's falling things are falling over all right so clearly also this is zoomed in so let's zoom out Okay, um, so this is gonna be too short to have you guys film unless I wash my face like this. So I'm gonna try and find a box to put under the tripod to lift you guys up because I'm gonna be washing my face and I need you guys like here as I'm washing my face. I'll be right back. <laughs> box, stand you up on the box. Okay, is that better? That's better. Okay, now we're gonna wash my face. <laughs> I'll just have you guys here. Nope. Can I have you here? Can you see me? Oh, you can see me here. Look at that. I just flipped the thing and now I'm shooting into the mirror. Okay. This is the weirdest YouTube video you're probably ever going to see. All right. So we're going to wash our face. Let me grab my face stuff. Okay. So the first thing I'm using is the Sraya Glycolic Mud Cleanser to wash my face. So let's do that. And let's be honest, I'm probably not going to take off last night's lashes to do this. I just wanted to wash my face and then we can just get ready together. Kind of like a get ready with me video. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is use this. Is that in focus? Nope. Can you see that? Yeah, look at that little YouTube trick. I've seen people do that where they put their hand behind and it focuses. You guys, I'm YouTubing. <laughs> okay, Strivectin, anti-wrinkle, going down under the eyes. And, uh, and I like it. Um, the next thing I'm using is this product, which is the L'Oreal Collagen Lotion, face lotion. And I ran out of my serum. So we're just doing this a little bit under your neck because the neck's important. All right, now let's put on some makeup. 
All right, we're back guys. So I was gonna just talk to camera and get ready first, but I figured we could just have the conversation while I'm getting ready and then you can see me do my makeup while we're having the conversation. Also, just being completely like open and honest, I actually wrote down notes. Can you guys see that? No, my notes. There we go. Yeah, because I, again, I was listening to the first episode of Pop Candy and just all the stuff started coming to my head. So first thing while I'm doing this, this is the Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown, focused. And this is the skin foundation stick I use on my face, so. Okay. Oh no, we're running out of battery. Of course we're running out of battery right when I decide to shoot this. Totally fine. This isn't gonna stop us, we're gonna keep going. All right, so, uh, oh, and then I have this brush. This is the Simply Essentials brush that I use. I like this like focusing thing, it really works. Okay, oh my gosh you guys, the freaking battery died right as I started, okay. You know, there's fighting forces trying to get me to stop making this video but we're not gonna let it. Okay, moving on. So, I just applied foundation and now we're just gonna buff this. So first topic, rude comment on my Instagram. Sorry, on my YouTube channel. <laughs> It wasn't rude. It just kind of was a reminder. They basically said it's been three months since our first video posted and we've really just been really focused on the podcast and that's it. So one, it really reminded me that we haven't posted anything in three months, but two, that Crystal and I have been putting so much pressure on ourselves. I struggle with perfectionism. I struggle with everything having to always look so perfect and production quality is great and all of this stuff and you build this thing into your head and you make it bigger than it needs to be and it doesn't have to be that big of a deal. So why can I do this for Instagram stories where I literally, and you're crooked, there we go, where I literally just take a video and I can just do this like, hey guys, today this is what I'm struggling with, blah, 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 but I can't do that for YouTube, for camera. Instead of putting so much pressure about the perfect life the perfect outfit, my hair and makeup being perfect. I just wanted to keep this so raw and so real and so honest. When I am watching other YouTubers, Alicia Marie's channel, for example, she, I'm a really big fan of her. I set my level of expectation to be like that so high when this is literally me shooting my very first YouTube video by myself without Crystal behind the camera on the other side, rooting me on, telling me to be bigger, right? Which is what she did for the very first YouTube episode that that we shot and posted. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it on my channel. It's the only one up, <laughs> so it won't be hard to find. Yeah, so this is the first time I am like shooting by myself and right now, as I keep messing with the camera angle, this is the Canon G7X. So the cool thing about this is it has a little like viewfinder above right here. That's why I keep looking up so I can see what I'm seeing at least. And I just, this is easier to just be able to have an open and honest conversation with you guys this way. Like I feel a lot more comfortable without crazy lights and me being all dolled up and you know, whatever. Speaking of dolled up, we're gonna keep doing our makeup. All right, so don't judge me, but I broke my makeup and I keep it in this little plastic bag, <laughs> my bronzer. So we're just going to, um, you know, we gotta save it. Desperate times right now. I'm failing at doing the thing I talked about doing, which is, you guys going on this influencer project with me and documenting the journey. This is the blush I'm using now. Documenting the, okay, I really can't do two things at once, I'm realizing, so I'm just gonna do my makeup and then just talk to you guys to video because keeping it really honest, it's actually really hard to do, talk and try and do your makeup and try to focus, too many things. We're gonna keep this first video so easy, you guys. And when I get better at doing two things at once, I will do a proper beauty tutorial because um, clearly we're already struggling. I said I wanted you guys to come along the journey with me and I was gonna show you the real, the raw, the ugly of everything, of trying to become a YouTuber. I have been posting on my Instagram stories so many times. I'm gonna do a hair tutorial. I'm gonna do a messy bun tutorial. If you guys have been following my stories, comment below. How many times have I talked about doing a beach wave tutorial and none of it has happened because I try to get in front of this camera and I set up on a bed, I just get overwhelmed shooting it by myself, seeing it back in camera. And the other thing that's really hard is like, I try to do the messy bun tutorial and it looked all cute and all this stuff. And I was going like this and blah, blah, blah. And then when I watched it back, I was like, that looks horrible, Joe. You can't post that. And then I try to edit the video. And by the way, I'm a brand new editor. So I'm one so slow, <laughs> okay? And then somehow I deleted the files because I, this is called an SD card. So this is where all the, um, the footage goes, can you see that? Yes, get in a frame, okay. 
basically I deleted some of the, the video from here, the footage from here, once I had transferred it. So that was my first official like hair tutorial I tried to do. I didn't want to do it all over again and then I thought we're in the middle of quarantine and I shouldn't be doing like beauty tutorials. There's like these big things going on in the world. It was all in my head about that. Like how am I going to be doing style hauls and doing makeup stuff in the middle of all this happening? But you guys, what I realized is like, yes, we're in the middle of this crazy time and this crazy pandemic and people's lives are being affected, people are losing their jobs. You know, I'm struggling to generate brand deals right now. My backup B plan was go get a bartending job if for some reason I can't close enough Instagram deals with brands, but there are no more restaurants open. So that's not even an option for me if, you know, this doesn't work out for me. So plan B right now is enforce plan A. <laughs> um, so this has to work for me. And in order for this to work, I have to start shooting content and it can't just be Instagram and podcasts. I also have to be on YouTube. And anyway, circling back to my point, checking my notes. Be yourself, don't hold back, don't put so much pressure on yourself to be perfect, so we can't do that. And so I basically wanted to shoot this video and have it be so raw and so real and share with you guys like why it is that I've been struggling. So I also struggle with ADD and ADHD and I talk about it on the podcast a lot as like a joke, but I've actually been like clinically diagnosed. Cause I know a lot of people joke like, oh, I have ADD, blah, 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 but I really do. And so the littlest, tiniest task that seems like no no big deal like it shouldn't be hard just like turning on a video and shooting a YouTube video to me there's this thing I read about called like the ADD overwhelm it feels like such a way bigger task the littlest tasks feel so much um bigger and so much more overwhelming so that happens to me sometimes when I sit down to try to shoot by myself what else just the last thing is I basically just wanted to shoot this video to prove to myself that I could do this by myself. So let's talk about shooting by yourself and the way I used to shoot pictures for my Instagram. So Crystal has been my photographer and her and I together is magic. She really helps me and inspires me and motivates me and helps direct me when it comes to images sometimes. So it's been a journey trying to learn how to shoot all by myself. I'll show you guys a picture actually. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's me shooting it at my bathtub. Crystal actually helped me shoot that picture remote, so on the phone. And basically, I would take a picture and then send it to her. And this was one of a paid sponsored deal that I got with this um, company. And I had to show off the bath salt. And I was like, how am I going to shoot this without Crystal being here? Again, ADD kicks in. I feel super overwhelmed. But now I'm getting paid, so I have to figure out how to do this. Well, I figured out that all you need is a tripod. And I set the phone on it. And then there's a timer on your phone that you can do it. So anyway, I've been learning how to shoot by myself and now having to learn how to shoot video by myself. So these are all the things you guys that I am literally struggling with, going through. I stopped doing my makeup because <laughs> I forgot about that, but it's fine. This is me, <laughs> unapologetically raw all over the place. Even my outfit, you guys. If this was Joe right now, I would be all up in my head because I think this is one of the sweaters. Actually, it is the sweater that I wore in our very first YouTube video video and I would have been all in my head that like oh my gosh Joe you wore the sweater already you can't wear it again by the way I think this is from Target where's this from I think it's Target no this is Zara I love Zara anyway yeah also I just squirreled on you <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if I ever say that, did you guys ever watch that one movie with, uh, uh, it's Disney's Up, where the dog is like, and then my master, all of a sudden, he's just, and squirrel, and he sees a squirrel and squirrels. That's how ADD is for me. It's like, I'm talking, I'm talking, and all of a sudden something catches my attention, and I'm, and I'm gone, and I don't even remember what it was that we were talking about. So anyway, I'm gonna take a sip of this water, because this video is gonna be all over the place but it's okay. So here's my goal. My goal is I just want to work on getting really comfortable shooting by myself in front of the camera with you guys. I know I always ask you guys, what do you want to see? And what kind of videos do you want me to shoot? So the first thing I'm going to say is comment below and tell me what you, what you want to see. That would be really helpful for me just to get ideas on like, what do you guys want to see on this channel? But the other disclosure, I just want to be super honest and tell you guys is right now in the middle of quarantine, I'm going to be shooting this stuff by myself. 
So they're gonna be really basic, simple videos. And then my goal and my hope for this channel is that as I get more confident shooting by myself, you know, typically whenever you shoot, let's say like a fashion video, you'll shoot your whole body and like, what are you wearing? And then you'll have a videographer come and actually pan all the way down and shoot like secondary footage. And that's called B-roll so that you can see another angle of, of the outfit. So it looks visually more interesting. Again, my head goes to like production land, right? But I can't do that right now because I don't have a video. So I have to get really creative figuring out how would I shoot this video without a videographer and number one and number two I'm still not super confident, you know in front of the camera doing this because it's kind of like riding a bike The more you do it the more comfortable you get so like right now I feel a little bit awkward and is the lighting right? It doesn't matter I need to get out of my head and just put content out there. You know, my whole purpose of wanting to start this channel was I wanted to help inspire women to create and design a life of their dreams through fashion and style inspiration and makeup tips and tricks, basic uh, makeup tips, be able to inspire you to try something new and feel like your most confident, most beautiful self. So I need to stop making excuses on why I can't do this and start having the confidence that I preach to everybody else of just be confident in your own skin and start shooting. And every time hoping that these videos get better and better and better. And hopefully by the time we get to you know, down the road here on this channel, I'll, you know, we'll be out of the situation and I'll be able to have a videographer again and be able to make these videos visually more interesting. But for now, we'll just keep it easy. It'll be like you and I having a conversation, sitting here and, and talking to camera. So yeah, I think I covered everything, right? Maybe. Yeah, so that's it. So to, to the guy that, that posted the comment, I actually wanna thank you. Cause you really kind of lit a little fire under my booty <laughs> to remind myself of like, wow, it has been three months since I've posted anything to this YouTube, uh, to my YouTube channel. And it, it really reminded me that, you know, the influencer project is not about perfection. And it's actually another thing that I was talking to Crystal about. If you actually head to our Pop Candy podcast, our Pop Candy podcast Instagram, in the beginning, you know, when we started, our feed was very raw and we were trying to like, we knew the brand, but we weren't communicating it visually, right? And then all of a sudden we brought on our interns, social media interns, shout out to Jack and Akash. And all of a sudden you started to see our feed morph and change. And now our feed is starting to look really amazing. Um, so if you're not following our Pop Candy podcast, you should um, go and follow it. It's on at Pop pop candy podcast anyway so yeah you saw the transformation of the feed and i guess this is what i hope this channel becomes is you know kind of like the first couple videos are probably going to be a little rough let's be honest but as we continue and my editing, video editing gets stronger. These videos will, will be able to be a little bit stronger in terms of production quality. But honestly, you guys may not care about any of that. You guys may just want to do this and sit here and talk and just be real. Production quality, no production quality. So, um, yeah. I thank you guys for number one, if you're still watching this, thank you for watching this all the way through and this crazy rant that I've just been sitting here talking to camera for I don't know how many minutes now. And I'm just excited to kind of take you guys on this journey with me as this channel evolves. I think it would be fun to kind of go on this journey together and kind of build this channel together. So, all right, I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. What are all the things YouTubers say? See, usually Crystal's here tell me what to say, <laughs> or I usually have it written down, and then I'll, I'll look at the notes, and then I'll look up and I'll say it, but I'm gonna try to say it from memory. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the bell so you get notifications. What else? Oh, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I'll get this outro right, don't worry. <laughs> Eventually, we're gonna practice. Um, if you like this channel, come back. I'd love to have you. Um, and again, thank you guys for coming with me on this journey and um, supporting my dreams and the influencer project. You see, this is why I'm aspiring to be an influencer and a YouTuber and I'm not quite there yet. Wow, Joe, really? The little record thing was off. Let's see, this is April 22nd, 2020. My first YouTube video, Quarantine Diaries. <laughs> I almost just said at popcandypodcast.com. Wow, Joe. My mom, I know you're watching this, is probably gonna yell at me because I don't have lipstick on. She's always like, Juanita, you always have to have your lipstick on camera. 
sometimes I'm like, mom, I'm just, this is just me. Last night's lashes. And this was a palette. I'm sorry guys, I can't even like tell you what this is because it's broken. Well, this video is not gonna be able to be any more raw because I think this is about as raw as you'll ever see me. Um, so yeah.